on the one million. <laughs> one million. <laughs> so what are you talking about? Rebuilding world through financial yes. planning. What, yeah. what are you going to do? Yeah. So let me let me ask a few questions. So mm -hmm. if you are asleep, you will wake up. Okay. <laughs> if you are listening to us. Okay. But if you can get an average of eighteen percent interest compounded quarterly, mm -hmm. do you know if you can do ten CD a day? Mm -hmm. which is equivalent of 300 cities every month within 23 years you make 1.1 million please take your time and repeat it 300 cities every month mm -hmm. or 10 cd a day mm -hmm. within 23 years 1.1 million okay a thousand a month within 16 years you cross a million mm -hmm. 3,000 a month within 11 years you cross a million mm -hmm. 6,000 a month within eight years you cross a million Wow. Uh, you start you brought one million up wow. and i'm saying anybody look i'll deal with one million as we go along but you see a rich man once said if you took all the money in the world and divided it equally among everybody mm -hmm. it would soon be back in the same pocket it was before um the that that big question if you lost your job today how mm. many months how many mm. years can you survive without salary mm. it's it's important we pay attention to finances and then financial planning mm. there are a number of reasons why a number of people will struggle i mean before we got on set i was telling you mm. about a teacher who called me last night we I spoke to them about four years or five years ago mm -hmm. already he's crossed six hundred thousand. wow and he's looking at making his first million uh, by before the end of 2023 hey. a number of uh, people will struggle with their finances for a number of reasons number one a lot of people do not believe that they can create wealth and become financially independent. Mm -hmm. Number two, uh, some have just not taken a decision. Number three, mm -hmm. some do not know what to do to get there. Mm -hmm. uh, number four, some believe that wealth and money is evil. Hey. Uh, it's unnecessary. It's carnal. Mm. And maybe number five, uh, some also believe that, look, if God wants me to be rich, I'll be rich. Mm. Uh, so if I am poor, it, so is, in God, it, to God. I, it is in the hands of God. Wow. See, traditionally, this has been the thinking. Get a good education, find a good job with some secure benefits. You work till you are 60, you get a good pension. This thinking belongs to the old school. It doesn't work in the year 2022. If with 2022 and beyond, it doesn't work. In the year 2022 and beyond, the new way of thinking is you got to manage personal finances so that you are able to create wealth. But ultimately, the reason why you are creating wealth is that you want to become financially independent. And we keep talking about financial independence. What does financial independence mean? It simply means getting to that stage where you can sustain your desired lifestyle without salary mm. it, it's as simple as that mm. you get to that stage so for example if you need four thousand a month for your desired lifestyle mm. and you can invest let's say 400k and get 18 percent every month that will give you six thousand a month so now your investment is returning 6k a month but you need four thousand you you're your investment returns is about 50 percent more than what you need at that point we say you are financially independent so that is a new way of thinking like the teacher i spoke to last night he's making average interest of 8k a month mm. income 8k a month but his salary is less than four thousand wow so at this point he can live the life he wants to work even if he chooses not to work for salary again mm. But you see, to create wealth and become financially independent, there are two important things you need. You need a God factor, mm -hmm. very important. The God factor is responsible to attract the financial resources, to bring the opportunities your way. You can debate it if you want the to. The ideas. The ideas the and strength, all that. The wisdom. I mean, the, the networking, mm. uh, the opportunities. I mm. call it the God factor. Mm -hmm. But you see, it's not enough to have the God factor. Mm. You also need to have the appropriate information. Mm. Because you, see, you cannot put a gallon of water into this bottle of water mm. because it does not have the capacity to carry a gallon of water you cannot put a drum of water because of the issue of capacity when it comes to finances there are levels of capacities and the appropriate information the mm. strategies mm. the keys are the very things that will help you so you need a god factor but you need appropriate information so that you are able to manage what you have you are able to multiply what you have and you are able to preserve it mm. uh, uh, manage multiply and then preserve it's important to deal with the why mm -hmm. and then we we'll talk about the how mm -hmm. why the big why why is it important to create wealth and become financially independent because money is everybody's business 
Mm. Money is money is major. Everybody must major money. Mm. Money is made. we thank God for prayer and fasting, but you can pray and fast and still die of hunger. Mm. It's not enough. Money is important. Who said money is not important? This life is not all about money, but money must be understood. Yeah. In fact, almost everything physical can be answered with money. Money will give you the ability to do more things. And more things here it simply means more things. And, and it means more things, who? Oh, yes. Including more things. I tell you. Imagine more things. <laughs> <laughs> Money will give you access to better healthcare facilities. Mm. Money will help you put your children in good schools. Mm. Money will even make marriage better. I tell you. Uh, somebody said, even romance without money is equal to annoyance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wonderful. <laughs> For those who believe in the Bible, Proverbs 22, 7, the Bible says, the rich rule over the poor, and mm. the borrower is a servant to the lender. Mm. The rich rule over the poor, mm. and the borrower is a servant to the lender. Proverbs 19, 7, mm. the poor are shunned by all their relatives. Oh. How much more do their friends avoid them? Do the poor pursue them with pleading? They are nowhere to be found. Mm. Let me add one more. Proverbs 10, 15, mm -hmm. the rich man's wealth is his fortified city mm. the destruction of the poor is their poverty i tell you it's terrible the destruction of the poor is their poverty there is a, a, another scripture i saw recently that really jumps at me let me let me uh, 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 touch on that and we can proceed genesis 47 19 47 19 um they are struggling in Egypt and they go to Joseph and look at what they say. Why should we perish before your eyes? Mm -hmm. We and our land as well. Mm. Buy us oh. and our land in exchange for food. Oh. Mm. Buy us and our land in exchange for food. Uh, when you see there are four realms of living when it comes to finances the survival stage the comfort the luxury the extravagance a lot of people find themselves in this uh, 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 survival stage and that is where people say buy us and our land in exchange for food mm. they don't really care about the future remember the land is not supposed to be for one generation mm -hmm. the land is supposed to be for uh, for for one generation to farm on and leave the land for the next generation but here you have you have people who are saying buy us uh, it's on the next slide push it for us yes. buy us and our land in exchange for food mm. That's so when people are, are sacrificing their future we are not thinking about what will happen in the next 10 years because we are hungry today wow. the, the issue of finances must be taken serious mm. we can't take it lightly at all mm. we can't take it lightly. so you've confirmed to us that money is important yes you've also told us that there are two key issues the god factor and information yes having laid this foundation what strategy or what are you going what can we do yeah so let me walk you through about five things we can do quickly but before we do that mm -hmm. let me say this because mm -hmm. it brings our conversation into perspective mm -hmm. see from the standpoint of purpose mm -hmm. and our assignment in our lives money does two important things and it's important to state it mm -hmm. one time redemption mm -hmm. money helps us to redeem time mm -hmm. um, so the 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 so let me mention the two things time redemption and number two money helps to to it's, it's a mechanism of efficiency okay if you need to go to kumasi you can walk to kumasi you'll get to kumasi you can also uh board a public transport you'll get to kumasi but you can also fly you still get to kumasi the more money you have the better you are able to redeem time and the more efficient you become mm. so it's important to put this in context wow. it's not just about building wealth and you have 15 cars and you live in a, a big house no from the standpoint of assignment purpose money helps us to redeem time and it's a mechanism for time efficiency Fantastic. now the big how mm -hmm. how do we do it mm -hmm. five keys i will share very quickly number one it's important to compute your net worth it's important to know where you find yourself today mm -hmm. This is an exercise I went through uh, wow. with my wife several years ago. Mm. Uh, and, and then we realized that if you put all our assets together compared to our liabilities, the liabilities were higher than the assets. Mm. Meanwhile, we're working in town very confidently. Mm. We had not sat down. And as we begin the year, 
I want to encourage uh, people who are benefiting from this program to sit down, put your assets together, put your liabilities together, mm. and, and find your smoothness level. Mm. It's only when you find your smoothness level that you can think into the future. This is where I find myself. Now, this is where I want to get to the next 10 years, the next 15 years, the next two, 20 years. Then how do I get there? And that takes me to key number two. So number one is compute your net worth. Number two is plan your finances. You got to sit down and plan mm -hmm. you see the law of first creation states that everything is created twice first mentally and second physically without the first creation you cannot have the second creation mm -hmm. your financial future is going to be created twice first mentally and second physically plan for anything that is important to you as you go through the journey of life that journey of life whether you're a student you just got married uh, 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 you have children mm. or you are closing into retirement every stage in the journey of life requires financial planning even I, if you are on retirement I like what you've done here so student to working professional to married to new parent or single parent depending to establish family empty nest and retired yeah most people go through this yes and every stage requires financial planning Wow. every stage requires so everybody planning. watching or listening has to do a financial plan. It's important. Whether you're a student or you're a retired. You need to do financial planning. Fantastic. You need to do financial planning. Mm -hmm. it, it's important you sit down and then you plan into your future. Mm -hmm. And financial planning basically has to do with knowing your income sources, being clear with where you want to get to, mm -hmm. and then we draw in a plan how to get there. There are five important areas I will always recommend. One of them is retirement, which we will deal with later. Mm -hmm. But the second area of planning is housing. Mm -hmm. Housing. And, and, and it's so easy... Okay, so we have uh, this dream house. A number of young people attempt to build their first house, and they attempt a house like this one. It's called a dream house. You start this, you will never finish. <laughs> By the time, you, the complication with attempting a house like this is that you keep paying rent, mm. and you keep sinking money into this house. So you look for your 30K or 20K, you give it to former. You go to the site, you won't see what has been done. <laughs> so for my, you didn't come to us, so oh, it's the pillar, your money is in the pillar there. It, you start this, you will never finish. By the time you are done with this, all your children are gone. Charlie. Because the average worker will use between 10 and about 25 years to build this. Mm. So instead of this huge house, we say build a simple three-bedroom house. Bernard. If you have maximum 20K, mm -hmm. you will buy enough blocks that will build your three-bedroom house. The 20K can go into blocks? Yes. Enough for the three-bedroom house? For the three-bedroom house. Now you struggle a bit at your foundation and then your roofing. But once you put a roof on the house, Charlie, whether it is plastered or not, it's your house. You're moving. We, we, we do counseling and we add financial planning as part of the counseling uh, process. All couple who have come through counseling with us, mm -hmm. nobody has been married for five years and is still living in a rented house. All of them have managed to move. Yes, in because years. it's in the mind. Wow, it's very possible. It's in the mind, and when it comes to housing, the other idea you can consider is the idea of mortgage. Mm -hmm. Mortgage simply means taking a loan to buy a house. Mm -hmm. Now the big difference between paying rent and using a mortgage is anytime you pay rent that money is gone for good it will never come back again mm. but anytime you service your mortgage you are owning that property so you are partially paying until you eventually pay off exactly and the house is yours. yeah and if you are taking a mortgage my advice is don't take mortgage to buy a big house smaller mm. house that could be expanded whether the mortgage is for 15 years or 20 years target seven years to pay off Mm -hmm. And I've taught people this and they have done that. Once you take a mortgage, let everything come to a standstill. Focus on the repayment. Seven years you can clear it. Again, when it comes to the mortgage, if you are earning in cities, don't go and take a dollar mortgage mm -hmm. because it can create issues for you. Mm -hmm. Take a mortgage in the currency, currency that you are earning. You are earning. And, and maybe the for final stability. thing. For stability. Maybe the final thing I want to say on the house is location. Mm. Location matters. Mm. It is cheaper to live on a quarter plot closer to town <laughs> than to live on, on an acre of land far away. Mm. Charlie, you wake up at 4 a.m. every day. Charlie. And you spend so much in traffic. There are people who spend 
four hours of their day in traffic every day. It's terrible. It's terrible. So it, it's cheaper to get close to town. Mm. The third area of planning is your children's education. Mm. Plan to give them quality education. Mm. Fourth area of planning is what I call giving back, mm. charity, blessing mm. others putting a smile on the faces of others. It's mm. very important. You can do it directly, or you can look for an, op uh, an organization that has the platform, like City, and you make your small donation in there. Mm. What you are doing is you are putting a, a, a smile on the face of somebody. And the fifth area of planning is what I call the high life. Mm. The high life simply means you make money at chop some. Chop small. <laughs> <laughs> Once in a while, give yourself a good treat. It's very important. You know, mm. because there, when you watch, eh, especially mm. the Christian marriages, when mm. you watch them carefully, mm. their whole marital life is like a triangle. <laughs> <laughs> it's church, work, home, church, work, work nothing. Uh, on dinner, sir, no retirement. No, no holiday. When they retire, it becomes a street line. It's church, home, <laughs> church, home. Take a break. Mm. Once in a while, eat in a good restaurant. Mm. You know, when they bring you the bill, you went with your wife, they bring you the bill, 400. <laughs> Poverty will come and stand behind you and start talking. <laughs> then look at this small food they gave to you that you are paying 400. <laughs> this money you could have fed your family. <laughs> You talk to poverty, say, get, get behind me, poverty. Oh, man, let me enjoy some more. <laughs> let me, uh, what imagine, is this? Imagine you that. Me. Every, day, you, every day you are planning. Once in a while, you take a break. Once in a while, you take a break. And then you, you, you also relax a bit. So the high life. So just yeah. to recap, uh, five areas of planning, retirement, which we'll talk about in a different program, yeah. housing, which you've spoken about, children's education, charity, and then the high life. Yeah. Possibly in that order as well. Yeah. So retirement first, yeah. housing next, children's education, charity, and then the high life. High life, yeah. So, and all this under financial planning. Planning, yes. Great, yes. yes. That's the second uh, Yeah. Thing. So let's talk about key number three. Mm -hmm. But before we even touch on key number three, mm -hmm. when it comes to this planning, this is not mm -hmm. the first time people have fed us. Three major challenge a number of people struggle with three major challenges one mm -hmm. procrastination mm. procrastination let me wait till my salary increase let me wait till this let me wait till that number two excuses mm. you can always find an excuse why you cannot do it and number three is blame mm. we need to deal with these three mm. self-imposed limitations procrastination key, excuses and blame exactly All right. key number three is Pay yourself an investor windfalls. Right. We work hard, we make money only to redistribute the money. So we work hard, whatever money we make, we distribute. Landlord, Ghana Water, ECG, this, that, that, Aketuyano, Asan, Asan. Then you will encourage yourself when is the next payday? Because next payday will come. And the next day they will come. Uh, your people are laughing in the studio <laughs> to come. They and when, you, when it comes, you go through the they are, process they are waiting, again. <laughs> they are waiting for the dinner one. They are hot. <laughs> <laughs> and you see, one of the dangers in life is mm. when you know you'll be paid at the end of the month. Because when you are spending, you spend knowing very well that in the worst case, and your payday. And your current is a payday. Mm. payday will come and you go through the process again. Mm. And people will tell you that, Paul, you don't understand. The salary is not enough. Mm. Yes, I, I know. But you see, there is a law called the Parkinson law. The Parkinson law mm. explains why most people will retire poor. Mm. The Parkinson law states that no matter how much people earn, they will always adjust their lifestyle to match their salary. Okay. So as salary is increasing, people are adjusting their lifestyle. And I can tell you, I, I do financial planning. Mm. I meet so many people. I've met people who earn 40000 a month. Hey, and who, still enough. They say it's not enough. Hey. As the salary is increasing, people are adjusting lifestyle. They will change their cars. You know, when people start, they do the trust key. As salary is increasing, they go to the Uber and the taxi. You know, uh, they get to a level, they will buy some. Their own small car. Uh, you know, <laughs> even the car, it's a matter of time. Yes. They will keep, levels will keep changing. Levels don't change. When the, the young men, they, they are listening to me, and the young <laughs> ladies, when they start, they go to the Bend Down Boutique. They have their special slogan, one mm. in the low, mm -hmm. one shine high. Mm -hmm. As salary is increasing, levels will keep changing. Level don't change. And now they go to the boutiques. Mm. You know, so you got to pay yourself. Mm. And I recommend the 10 20 70 principle. Mm -hmm. If you believe in tithe, pay your tithe of 10%. If you don't, you can still give 10% to society. But 20% minimum of whatever you earn must go into investment. 20% minimum. 
anybody listening to us or watching us who can do 20 percent every month i give you between 10 and 15 years you'll be financially independent 20 percent minimum goes into investment 20 percent minimum if you can do more great a guy came to me he's doing 50 percent every month wow it's in the mind it doesn't matter how low you think your salary is somebody earns less than your salary mm. and that person is not dead mm. so don't tell me that the salary is not enough it's in the mind. They can't say only the wise bite bones out of eggs. Mm. Money is like an egg. You can consume it all today or you can defer consumption. You hatch it into a chicken and you can bite bones out of your eggs. Wow. You can bite bones out of your eggs. Mm. You see, within every income, within every income, there is food and seed. Mm. just like in most fruit mm. you find seed and food mm. the food is for consumption and the seed is for sowing it's for investment mm. the pathetic story for a number of people is that we consume both the food Charlie. and the seed in they, our they, income they are, they are drinking watermelon and eating the seed or <laughs> they are blending the whole seed and drinking everything that's what they are doing eh? You, 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 and the way to find the money is in 2022 and beyond, you've got to watch your spending habit. You see, your salary must dictate what you eat, not your appetite. Mm. There is a salary level you can do all the nice hotels in the morning. There is a salary level you also do cocoa with cocoa, so you'll be fine. Mm -hmm. the, you can even do gobe. Gobe. That one too, you'll be so fine. Foundation. <laughs> with enough gary with the two sachets of water you also be fine mm. the point is you are not in competition with anybody if you want to rebuild world you want to you become financially independent please declare personal independence that you are not in competition with anybody it's your life avoid the impulse buying the impression mentality put your children in school so you can afford stop throwing away the leftover food go to the market with a shopping list go to the mall with a shopping list get the whole family involved one of the things we've done over the years anytime we need to go to the mall with the children we agree on the budget at home but before we get to the mall everybody knows their limit so they pick the item, they look at the price themselves. You know. You you don't need to talk. Mm. In the same mall, you see other children crying. I want a bike. They they want to take the entire mall. Home. <laughs> <laughs> and they are, their parents are struggling there. Really? And if you are not careful, a stranger will advise you in the mall. That, oh, and collar is where and you're free. And it's not a buy it. Buy it for them. <laughs> they, they don't know your pocket. <laughs> but they are advising you. Yeah, four, that's what they do. Yeah. Key number four mm. is you got to create your own money machine. Create your own money machine. Yeah. Create right. your own money machine. There is a point when a man works for money. Mm -hmm. But there must be a point when money must work for a man. Let me talk about two types of automatic money machines. Okay, if you use your time, your energy to exchange money, you are running a manual money machine. But I want to focus on two types of automatic money machines. Number one is what I call paper assets. Mm -hmm. Paper assets. And here I'm talking about simple things like treasury bills, treasury bonds, fixed deposit, mutual funds, unit trust, among others. These are paper assets. I love paper assets. Bernard, you know why? Mm -hmm. They are quiet. Mm. You put your money there, you can have your 100k, nobody knows. You can have your 1 million, nobody knows. It's quiet. You, you just be it's chopping. underground. Underground. Quietly, you'll be chopping your interest much more. <laughs> nobody knows how you are making money by yeah. chopping your interest. Mm. So I love paper assets. That's so quiet. paper assets are but it's one area we, we could look at. But when it comes to paper asset, it's important to put it in context mm -hmm. that there is a relationship between risk and returns. Mm -hmm. When the returns is high, the risk could probably be also high. So pay attention. Don't just follow high returns. Mm. The second area of paper asset, the second area of uh, money, machine. money machine I want to talk about is properties Property. or real estate. Mm. But I think that it can be overhyped. When it, talks, we, we, it comes to properties, or real estate and you are looking at rental income it's about location mm. location location mm -hmm. you don't get the location right it's a complete waste of money mm -hmm. a friend spends eighty thousand dollars on a house at the wrong place mm. he's getting rental income of 500 cities a month less than a hundred dollars and that is called gross rental income it's not net mm. if you take out the net the money will finish it go it go finish mm. so yeah the final key I want us to touch on mm -hmm. 
is uh, Operation One Million. Operation which is One my Million. Favorite. Operation One Million, which mm. is my favorite. Mm. Operation One Million. Everybody watching our show can make at least a million series in your lifetime. Wow. Um, if project for us operation one million table if you can do 150 cities every month mm -hmm. within 27 years you cross a million 1.1 million mm -hmm. 300 a month within 23 years you cross a million 600 a month within 19 years you cross a million 1005 a month within 14 years you cross a million 3011 years 6008 years 12005 years everybody will find their level somewhere you build up little by little everybody who wow. is listening to us can make at least a million cities in your lifetime does this not depend on the interest rate or you are i am using an average of 18 percent wow 18 percent and when you look at even government of ghana bricks free treasury bonds over the last maybe six years five years 18 percent is conservative so just go through again if you do 150 a month 27 years time you make a million. a million yes if you do 300 a month 23 years you do a million so the yes. more you make you you you, you the you, shorter you say the number so of if years. you go to thousand cities at the prevailing interest rate it takes you 16 years exactly three thousand cities 11 years yes six thousand cities eight years yeah. Twelve thousand cities five years yes so you build it up wow. little by little but you see this this <coughs> has a challenge what is a challenge we are holding the contributions constant mm -hmm. if we're escalating you start with the 150 or 300 and you move up. and you move up you sh you shorten the number of years mm. so everybody can make at least a million ghana and we are encouraging everybody you haven't launched operation one million you got to launch it this year you need help you come to us we'll give you a financial planner and we would help you monitor your progress towards making your first million and bernard for mm. those who may need help mm -hmm. look what we are doing, it's not just working for a bank and making money. It's about changing lives. It, it, it's about purpose. So those who may need help, we do financial planning for free. Or you need support on Operation 1 million, a customized plan. You call us, we'll get a financial planner to help you. You can simply drop a WhatsApp message and say, I, I want to launch Operation 1 million. Or I need a financial planner to help me. We'll get somebody to give you a call. Wow. Well, thank you, Paul Kofi Mante. He's the Managing Director of EDC Investments Limited. That's all we have time for for today's edition. We've been talking about financial planning as part of our fourth week of the Effective Living Series. We'll see you next time with another edition. Bye-bye. Well, either you eat your seed or you plant No, at this point, I'm seed. convinced I'll be a millionaire. I mean... It's doable. I'm going to make no, it, no, today, it's actually to, doable. Every month, you know, save. Yeah. You know, we, we, we can do it. Yeah. No, we can. And we should. And we will. We, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. for those of you who are behind the camera, who are just tracking, laughing about, about tracking, the idea track and tracking, this. you know, <laughs> uh, you, two, you, are, you two, you can do it. Absolutely. You gotta see this in your yeah, lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. But don't forget that tonight we are cooking on Wolf's Cooking with Apioca at exactly 7 p.m. So do make a date with Apioca and know what will be prepared in our kitchen. Absolutely. And don't forget that the spelling B, you can go over to the website spelling B G H dot O R G, spelling B G H dot org. All right. Enroll your 8 to 12 year olds mm. and help them to start spelling the right way all right all right it's been an awesome morning yes, so informative you mm -hmm. know and um we hope that you've been blessed you know staying with us this morning thank you very much for watching this has been breakfast daily on city tv my name is premier Dina. and i'm david kukusichi can you go over to um call the numbers actually zero two zero five nine seven three nine seven three get your seat on heritage caravan take care